them all bought the SS Hampton. I found this and I messed up so badly at the start. So that's why I was so far out. But yeah, at least I'm actually able to get frames per second back at the port. I opened this up, I crashed. It was that bad. But yeah, uh, we're out in sea now. So this is the SS Hampton, yet again made by Scootly Poodly. And it's the second of the three ships in the Tall Stacks class. Hooray, it's out after 84 years. So, yeah, obviously inspired by the Big Four. Hence, the four masts, two little funnels, and of course, the semi raised deck here when dropping back onto a deck when they're separated. Bridge and a really, really long bow. So, shall we explore? And for some reason, this. This is open, don't know why, but let's explore the interior. So this is the bridge, it has a compass in like the middle of the room. Um, bridge wings view is pretty nice, and funnel review, I'd give that a 10 out of 10. Look at the whistles, look at the funnels, I like how they've used the new wedges, they look so gummy thick smooth. Uh, down here, try not to fall off, mind me, um, this is a downstairs area I think yep downstairs area not yet and this is your main control panel room where you have all your jazz called the mechanical room breakers don't know what you do probably gonna die throttles things output uh oh that one's not, not oh that's the sink but on the sink lights nope power uh that's buzzing out that's not just leave that <laughs> nothing happened uh, so we're going to explore this blob and then move on to that blob right so down here mm, yes. is a stairwell nice view that's a really nice view actually I like the vents and you've got the bit of a funnel lifeboats not going to need them practically unsinkable chart room oh oh random number. Didn't do anything. I'm offended. <laughs> I feel so attacked. And a wireless room. Cause just in case you sink in turn and wait, did there was I thought something changed. Lol, send snacks, may die. Iceberg warning. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> like we're gonna hit an iceberg. We got um we clearly have a, a crow's nest. Pretend that's it, even though it's not just pretend it is. I don't wanna get sued again. After all, we can't afford another lawsuit. A little lamp that is adorable. Bed. Whose cabin is this? Captain? Nope, first officer. This is the captain. Mm hmm. Oh no, rest in peace, captain. You didn't get a double bed. I I'm gonna sue them. And then this leads back outside on the bow bit. I was gonna say well deck, it means it's not because it should be a dip, not really. Just have superstructure around it. Right, time to make our way into the ass blob bit. I just banged my head, hello. So, go to the very top, work our way down. Those funnels are towering above, magnificent, and I love the vents. You know what, I'm screenshotting that, that's just beautiful. <laughs> uh, what is this? Right, why is there a million compasses everywhere? Oh, inside? No. There's like a million compasses everywhere. There's, there's two here. I've found four so far. Reminds me of Lusania's compass surplus. And I like the piping. Very nice. Especially on a deck house. I mean, that's normally just plain. And there's a bit. An empty bit. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. The ship is mostly engines. And generators that don't hook up to the piping. <laughs> um, right then. This is a inside bit, the main staircase of the shambag. We look around this deck, then we go down. T deck. All right, not the weirdest thing. Right, we can't actually go any further aft from here, so. And that's the uptake casing. Oh, so there's nothing really after this, right? So T deck, I have not. Oh, oh wait, imagine if it spelled out the tall stacks. Wait, I think it spells out tall something, because T-A, oh my god. Our top deck, meh, an A deck. Is that, is this a B or an L deck? Nope. Right. 
I was getting confused then. Uh, accommodation, I guess. Uh, Georgian Cafe. Interesting name. A very cramped cafe, in my opinion. I would not like to be in here. Oh, oh skylight. I take that back a bit. So if I'm quiet again, my voice is kind of going. <coughs> <coughs> I've not got corona. I swear to God, I'm not going to die. <gasps> One word? Yes. This is so curvy. <laughs> I like curves in this game. They just look so smooth now. Uh, the lounge. That's the gallery. Gal gallery. Is this like an art gallery? I mean, it could be considered art. It's that's beautiful. Uh, the lounge. Oh, I like the floor style. Very nice. And I like the uh, the the chair seats. They look so good and high. This reminds me of the uh, the second class library on Titanic, and it also reminds me of the Muratanius dining room with the floor pans. The checkeredness. My head's actually. Um, sorry if I seem less energetic and quite yet again. That's just because my voice is going. I'm still a little rascal. But yeah, this is it for that deck. Hmm. Dropping down from A deck down to B deck. Try not bang your head. How about? And the staircase. It's very nice. Oh, that's the door that leads to death and destruction and we are now inside the hall. <laughs> it's a shell door. I still find that name funny. Purser's office. Very small. But I mean, not the biggest of ships. It's still a big ship, but not Titanic big or anything. So let's go in there in a minute. Oh, there's nothing here. Oh, wait. Oh, so we do have a couple cabins. That's good. And this is the purse's room. And this is the first class lounge. So I don't have lights on, it's dead dark. Ah. Oh. Class lounge. Oh, I know that person who came online. Well, I know them on Steam. Making big boats. Bigger than the Normandy that's coming up. Spoiler alert, JP Ships is making Normandy. And this is a really nice fireplace. Uh, is there anything on this side? We have another cabin. Oh, even bigger than the captain's cabin. I feel bad for that poor guy now. It just shouts that pe Oh wait, I forgot, I forgot the beef room. Right, um, uh, let me in. In fact, I think I can enter now. This is 100% a dining saloon and holy hell is it massive. One, two, you might want to count as a third floor. I won't, but it's a, it pokes up, so maybe. But at least two floors. It's so spacious. Look at me. I can hop around, and I'm not smashing into any. You can jump still, and you won't smash into anything. It's amazing. And I love the plants. It's just so well detailed. Sorry about the light, but it's the way. If I have lights on, <laughs> good luck running this. Just good luck. Um, but yeah. None of that. This is pretty much it for this room. Skiers led me past. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I love the arching and the plants. It just looks so perfect. It's like it really has a place. It, like, it's been put there for a reason. It's not just decorative. You got a swimming pool. Insp that's 100% Adriatic inspired. Right, is it dead barren and bad and small? Kind of, yeah. So it definitely is. Well. It, it's Adriatic swimming pool was not very luxurious so yeah but it still had one and this is crew only is this like the Scotland road of the ship honestly yes uh, is this a Baha'i we are very low to the waterline in terms of decks um, what is here why is there a caged off area is Nicholas Cage's home here or something <laughs> Did you get it, Nicholas Cage? Uh. Oh, my jokes are getting worse and worse with this illness. Um, this is very maze-like. Hi, we're... <laughs> I'm gonna get lost. I really am. And that goes nowhere. Now it's that. And this bit. <gasps> An openable room. Mail room two. Mail room one. The pronunciation might offend feminists. Have we, have we got double pothole? A single pothole for this size of room, excuse me. Wait, but this is SS. Wait, is this RMS or SS? No, it is the RMS Hampton. 
interesting that they have a mail cargo hold well a mail hold unless it's just just passenger mail I guess and that makes sense but I'll be mean it's probably mail. I'm confused anyway I like this cargo hold and if we open that door we're probably going to die that's not off that's not in center <laughs> but yeah we are listening as far as interiors that's it I'm finding a pothole to face through and say goodbye to the luxurious interiors of the ship but yeah very nice if you want uh, if you want an escape stairwell we got you covered if you want double we got you covered I'm gonna go up this one because I looked at it last um but yeah that's the upper cargo hold rubble and there's a lot of benches <laughs> are we carrying benches as cargo no I'm joking I'm joking Excuse me, this is walled off. I feel so attacked. Bonus stairwell. Oh, that's lower class. Oh. Right, and we're on the bow again. Yay, happy stuff. We survived. I'm assuming that is for um, the booms and stuff like C. Show controls. Aha, uh -huh. press all the buttons, see what happens. I'm going to regret this very quickly. Just press all the buttons. Yes. 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 Pr I'm pr can I even see any movement happening? I don't see any movement on. Is it moving? Hi. Yes, they are. I mean, one of them is. <laughs> I'm gonna leave alone these before I break something and it blows up entirely. In fact, I haven't hooked up the lifeboat, so shall we do that? Yes, we should. Wait, which ones? Wait, these dabbits are confusing me. I don't know which is on. I'm presuming how they automatically are, because they've done testing phases, and it looks really cool. These ones are on. Right, we can drop it a bit more. Attach. Come on. Attach. Are you going to attach? No, you... Or is it backwards? I'm just sure they're inverted on these ones. I don't know. I swear to God that they were... Can you not... Oh no, I'm stuck. Were they inverted? Oh no, oh, oh wait, yeah they are. That's weird. I don't like that, it feels weird. But we can drop a lifeboat or two. I'm getting concerned, I, f I feel like we are listing, but I don't know if we are. Let's hop one over the side real quick. We can bring it back up and on our merry way. And I can't get over those funnels. They really are called tall stacks because they really are tall. And funnel stacks, smoke, chimney, pipe, boil tube, whatever you want to call it. People have called them boil tubes before, I know, right, it's painful if you love ships. And because I'm lazy and can't be bothered to hold it, just press escape once and all the magic will go away. Right, I've just missed it, but I've heard a loud, like, clang noise, it's not a magnet, and um, we are definitely sinking now. I don't know what, I don't know who, what, where, when, why, but let's just release the boats. Hi, lifeboats, get off my ship. No. Uh, as long as we get the lifeboats off, which I am... Uh-oh. Oh. Uh, what? The power... What? Uh-oh. Uh. Right, hold on. I'm going to sink this at night time. I want to see that. Right, we are 1 million percent sinking. Hi, I'm not a celebrity. Get me out of here. Um... I want to check on the interiors because there's something that's causing us to pitch down and I can't place my tongue on it. But can you not? I'm trying to jump over the thing. Come on. Wait, I just noticed the power's on. I turned it off, excuse me. Right, let's jump all the way down. <sighs> Make sure to reinforce your balances, kids. Wait. Oh my god, that is so cool. It's got like a pump. No, not pumps. Lights. There we go. And everything. Alright. Oh no. Have I got my I've gotten myself stuck. Oh no. Don't trust swimming pools, kids. They eat ya. Oh god, I'm literally dying. Help me. I don't wanna die. So it is confirmed I'm stuck in a pool. Help. How's the shell door doing? Oh yep, that bit's under the water. In fact, that's a weird bug, but you can tell where the water line is if you look through glass panes. 
It's sad to think that all this, all of this would be under water in no time. I like the curves and the chandeliers and the everything, in fact. And how's the bout? Yep, the bout is confirmed wet. Right, it is our time to leave, so can we actually make that happen? It's easier going out than in now because of the way the ship is slanting. I can't get over the plants, they look fabulous. Oh god, the pot. Right, this ship is plunging. This is confirmed plunge. Right, get out. Get me out of here. I'm not a celebrity by no means. Oh yeah, we hit 100 sub 200 subscribers. Oh my god, thank you all. 200 and I think 8 of you. Thank you all so much. Right, um, yeah, so I, I, I technically did it, but Jesus. Right, um, I feel like, oh god. Oh, the hu- Oh! Oh, no! Stop, 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 no. Right, over humanity, the flames are climbing. Kind of, not really. Right, um, I think the best thing to do is- Oh, the flares! I forgot about the flares! Fire them! Fire! Re help! Re it it'll provide light! Yeah, it'll provide light! Actually, actually, a good idea. Oh, 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 what is the power doing? The power keeps on semi-failing. Why is there a door? Why, why is there even a door under the water? Oh, it's the coal hatch. I'm gonna open the coal hatch. That's not helping our sinking issues, is it? Oh, that bang was the boil exploding and it probably blew that hatch open backwards. Oh, it probably blew open the pressure and water blew it backwards, maybe. I'm not sure, sure, but I'm sure that we are sinking. It's confirmed and high. Oh god, that sounds like steam is being raised. Oh my god, this water is already here. Right, that's it. Run, run. Just run. Just run. Get off the ship. I'm not going down with the ship. I refuse. Let me in the boat. Immediate. Come on. Yes. No. Yes. Hi. No. They're not the way I want it to be. I want to look backwards and see the ship. Wow, those funnels look weird. Glowing. Oh, no. The power. There you have the final plunge. Bridge is dropping under. Yep. There goes the bridge. And the power is about to completely die at this point. This uppy lippy bit is going underwater. Oh, God. It is actually dropping pretty quickly. Uh oh. Right, um, the ship is literally pushing itself under the water. Are we free? We are free. We are confirmed free. Right. I'm a celebrity. Not really. Get me out of here. Really. Right. Trying to drive away with a good old blender shoved on. Remove the cap. Wait. Is this thing going backwards or is it just dead slow? Compared to the ship. Probably a bit of both, but there goes the liner. Oh, there goes the engines. Hey, I like how the forward whistle has three chimes and that one has one. That is adorable. I like details like that, so it's not just copy and pasted. And the ship is definitely pushing itself under. Oh, God. There goes the power entirely. To watch this from afar. Like that, I guess. Oh, no. Alright, we can stop the lifeboat entirely. That would be great. No. Stop. Stop the light. Yep. You can see the ship for it's going under. Lifeboats are off and by the looks of it we are upright and everyone else is capsized. What a sight everybody, what a sight. Liner going down, the propellers are somehow still spinning. Yep, there goes the last two masts. I'm trying to zoom in with the field of view thing. There it goes. A legendary liner lost yet again. Marconi wires slip under. The stern docking bridge about to plunge under as the final mast makes its way under, followed by the last bit of the deck housing, the ship, the, the SS Hampton, everybody. <laughs> it's going down. After mass, by looks of things, is about to dr drop under on the stern. It's hard to see, but there goes the rest of the ship, slipping under the Docking bridge pokey out of it, and the infamous flag goodbye ship. Hey, that lifeboat made it up too. And there, and there goes the Hampton, and there goes the video. Goodbye, thank you all, 200.